I got interested because I saw it's a platform where they help models grow their brand and uh, that is how I joined Project X and uh, the experience there was amazing because I get I got to meet amazing mentors, I got to meet amazing people who I know we will be working together in the future. After applying for the Project X, I got selected among many models. There are so many applications, but thankfully, I was selected as one of them. And uh, we were going through master classes where we were sub supposed to submit bullet points of what we've learned. And also, we were being given tasks according to what um, you've registered for, if you're a designer, if you're a model. You're given tasks to perform, and then from that, you're scored. And that is how they were now selecting people and then there were cutoffs on along the way. And now finally we had the nine finalists who went for boot camp at Ole Sereni Hotel. And from there we were having trainings at KTN Home where we were being trained by Coach Edu. He's an amazing coach. I learned that I can actually dance from that. And we also had trainings by Ben Sol. He's an amazing coach. He's really humble to us. Like that guy is just and uh, Paynette Joanne, she was, she was our model juror and uh, I learned a lot from her. In, in the modeling industry, like, learning never stops and I am really grateful for the opportunity that I got. How I prepared for the finals, like there, there was a lot of work that went into preparations. I had to work out a lot, more than I usually do. I had to study, I had to do a lot of research when it came to the master points, uh, master classes that we were having. I had to check on my work, I had to watch runway videos to see that I improve on my work, check whether my strides are right. And also with the dance classes, I'm not a very good dancer, I'm a slow learner when it comes to dancing. So I had to like wake up earlier than I usually do to just practice and rehearse. And the winner for the model category is Fury Sinjari. So surprisingly, I thought I would be so nervous, uh, I would be breaking, but surprisingly, I was very calm when, before the results were announced. And uh, I was just there in the moment, enjoying the moment. And then after the results were announced, I was obviously in shock <laughs> i had really prayed about it and i know i had worked hard for it so when i was announced the winner it was such a humbling moment for me i was excited i had all these mixed emotions first of all i just want to thank god for all this i want to thank my mom she's not here but she would have loved to be here no. i want to thank my sister yeah. <laughs> so from my win uh on Project X, I got a cash prize, which I won't mention the amount. And I also got uh, the opportunity, I'll be traveling to Paris this year, where I'll have the opportunity to go and showcase my talent internationally. This, I'll say, is a dream come true for me. I went for the JW show auditions uh, in 2021 and I got selected and from there we started trainings with Cliff. He's uh, one of the best model trainers we have here and uh, he's an amazing trainer and we did trainings for about a month and from there on we now went to the main show. The experience was amazing because it was the first time I walked on a glass runway at first it was so scary because I, I i thought like but it never happened the runway was okay and the experience was amazing for me and i loved working with all the models so what i have learned as a model is that you need to put yourself out there because I remember when I was starting out, I had this perception that if I look good, if I walk right, like clients will just come to me. They'll be like, I'll be walking in the streets of Nairobi and then someone will just spot me and be like, whoa, you're what I've been looking for, like I want to work with you. So when you're a model, you need to put yourself out there. If it's social media, you need to maximize social media because social media helps you to get exposure to different people you're able to like 
sell yourself out there. Personally, I have learned that you shouldn't let success get into your head because at times you can do something you feel like you've achieved so much and then you just relax and not do anything to improve yourself. But for me, I believe success is going beyond and above what people expect. And uh, the competition is between yourself where you need to improve yourself every single day. If I was here today, I want to be there tomorrow. I don't want to be the same person I was yesterday. I want to keep on improving myself. For me, my mantra in life is I believe that the world is my runway. As a model, obviously I need to eat right, I need to work out, I need to hydrate, and also I love watching runway shows where I get to learn a lot. I get to watch people walk, how they're handling themselves. Uh, I also do record myself when I'm doing my training so that I'm able to see the mistakes that I'm doing when I'm walking, whether my strides are long enough. So for me, I don't need like a practical runway to, to be a model. Just anywhere I am, I carry myself as a model. Where we go wrong as young people is uh, we want things that we haven't worked for. Like you want to get paid when you're just on your phone, or you're sleeping. We want things to come easy for us. And uh, like we all know, the only place that success comes before work is only in the dictionary. So you have to work for what you want to get. So you won't just be relaxing at home and expect to be getting things that you want. You need to go out there and work for them. When it comes to my goals in life, I don't really like to project my life and look at my life at where I want to be five years from now. I usually like to look at, at it in the sense that where was I five years ago and where I am right now. Because with that, I'm able to like measure my successes, what I've done, what I've been able to accomplish. And with that, I can be able to know like if this is where I am right now, this is where I want to be. If uh, it's, let's say, the wind that I had, now that I'll be traveling, I know that I want to accomplish this and this. And for me, I like to take it one day at a time, knowing what I want to do in the next five, in the next uh, months to come. My advice to upcoming models is that your dreams are valid. I started very, um, I started without knowing anyone in the industry because some of us have the advantage of knowing people prior to us joining the industry, but some of us have to start from scratch. You need to get these gigs, you need to approach these clients. So when you're starting your modeling journey, you need to be really passionate about it because so many obstacles will come along the way and if you're not strong enough and you're not resilient enough to overcome them, you'll just, you won't go anywhere with it. So what I'll say is, Chase your dreams, go out there, market yourself, do whatever you want, go for photo shoots, approach clients that you want to work with them. And uh, I believe uh, with prayer, dedication, resilience, that you will be able to achieve what you want. The modeling industry right now is flooded. Like everyone in our generation wants to become a model, a singer, a dancer. So if you want to become a model, you need to be persistent in what you do. If it's content creation, you want to be posting regularly on social media, especially on Instagram, because it is there that clients, when you maybe go for a gig, most clients will ask, how many followers do you have on social media? And also they'll check like your, your postings. What are some of the things that you've been posting? Have you been posting walks? Am I you just post memes? So it's important for you as a model, like when you, you post content that is relevant to what you're doing. With that, you're able to like attract clients. They'll be able to like see your work, what you do. And with that, uh, you'll be able to get brands who want to work with you. For parents who are watching this show, 
modeling is a career it's a profession like any other and you can earn and someone can earn from it most of our african parents are not inclined to supporting their their children when it comes to the creative hustles although since uh, it's something that's working for most people i believe they've started to see the beauty in it and that you can actually earn from what you love to do I take care of my mental health through interactions with my friends. I love hanging out with my friends during my free time and also working out. So working out keeps me sane. Here in Kenya, in the modeling industry, I look up to Meha Kinjogu. She was my first model trainer and I just love her. Finette Joanne is also an amazing trainer and I love her work. Outside Kenya, I look up to Adata Ketch and Gigi Hadid. If you want to get yourself some accessories or accessories for your loved ones, you can always reach out to me on my social media handle at jp underscore jewels underscore collection. My social media handle is at chokoriti, C-H-O-C-O-R-I-T-Y. And you can also follow my jewelry page at jp underscore jewels underscore collection. My favorite social media handle is Instagram.